130301. For some, this was a normal day, normal errands, and a normal day job. For Dakar and Roger, it was anything but normal. Early that morning, both Roger and Dakarai said their final goodbyes to their families before setting off on a new adventure. A new mission, as the armies would call it. However, this job was off the books. So top secret, even their families couldn't know a single detail. The families of the two believed they were off to do some medial research for the country of Salvadorado. They were really going to do research and investigations on the strange hap happenings in Strangerville. Before setting off, they had their final goodbyes. Roger, he, he never really had much of a family. His only goodbye was to his fiancée Maria. He gave her a single kiss and he smiled. He simply said, See you soon. Nothing more. Dakar, on the other hand, well, he had a handful of goodbyes from his big family. They all wished him luck and asked for lots of photos of the jungles in Salvadorada, and of course the animals too. He said his final goodbye to his wife Soraya and then looked down to his daughter Renata. She was only six years of age and didn't quite understand why he was going away for such a long time. She gave him a big hug and she had to be pulled off by Sarai because she just didn't want to let go. As they began to walk away, Renata ran to Dakarai and pleaded for her to take her favourite teddy bear so he wouldn't ever feel alone. He accepted and he gave a big yet sorrowful smile. He had a sinking feeling about the whole mission and not being able to tell his family the truth on where he was going and why. They both got into the car. Roger waved goodbye to Maria as she blew him kisses. Dakarai waved plenty and gave a wave to Renata from Teddy. A few hours have passed. The pair are both on the plane. They were going over the plans for the next few weeks and the places they will investigate. Neither of them could bear to speak their minds about what if. What if they can't defeat whatever is in Strangerville? What if they fail? What if? What if? Dakarai was a nervous flyer. Always has been. Roger, on the other hand, well, he lived for the skies. They began hitting turbulence quite frequently. It was putting Dakarai on edge. He couldn't focus on the planning. Roger was getting frustrated. He was trying to explain, it's just air, nothing to be afraid of. And then, crash, boom, bang. Everything had changed. It was days later. Both pilots didn't survive the crash. They took the worst from the hit. Far from both home and Salvadorada, the two were now stranded in the tropical island of Sulani right next to an active volcano. With not a lot of supplies to last a long time, the two are now at war with the time as they try and find a way to get back home before the supplies run out and before the volcano erupts. Months later, the two are still stranded there and they've been growing more and more worried. They've, no, they've found no communication with the outside world or the office, officers back home. They've seen not a single so soul on this island. They are running out of supplies. They don't have much time left, or quite frankly, the energy. It's not looking hopeful. What will happen? Will they ever leave the island of Sulani?